True cost of car ownership. How much do you set aside each month for your vehicle? Well, 300, 400, 500 dollars. Joanne Purden is here now with how much it really costs you to drive your car each year so you don't waste your money. A report recently released by AAA is an eye opener for many car owners. The costs don't stop at your monthly payment and insurance. And AAA says the bigger the car, the bigger the cost to keep it on the road. When it comes to our cars, gas, oil changes, tires, and those dreaded repairs all add up. The bumper, the control rod, the tires, the transmission went out. Kate Coughlin knows how expensive an older car can become. Like $3,000 trying to repair it. A new study by AAA finds the average cost of owning a new car is $8,500 a year when you factor in depreciation, insurance, gas, and maintenance costs. AAA says a lot of people buy a car just based on emotions. They don't stop to think what it will cost to maintain over a year or two. All they're looking at is that monthly payment. Even if it's a new car, you still got a lot of maintenance to maintain and everything. Bobby Drake says many people add to those costs by postponing maintenance. For instance, he sees them wait for the brakes to wear down to metal, requiring costly new rotors. Following the, uh, the manufacturer recommended maintenance, that'll, uh, that'll definitely save them a lot of money in the long run. Meantime, AAA says some types of vehicles cost a lot more to operate than others. It says small cars average $6,300 annually, mid-sized sedans $8,100, small SUVs $7,600, and large SUVs and full-size pickups $10,000 a year. SUVs and pickups are so expensive because they cost more to insure, use up more gas, of course, and require bigger, more expensive tires. Just some things to consider the next time you're looking to buy a new vehicle. I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News. That's where the money's going. There it is. There it is. Good to know, though. All right, more than a